Hey, it's makeup artist James Vincent here at Metropolitan Pavilion, home of the Makeup Show, getting ready and gearing up for the Makeup Show NYC. As Director of Education and Artist Relations for the show, I wanted to show you a few of the brands that I am super excited about that will be premiering at this year's The Makeup Show NYC or that are exclusive to the pro artists that attend our event. So I've asked my gorgeous model, Christy, to come in and show you one of my favorite looks for spring using only product that's exclusively available at this beauty event. So the look that I love for spring is a bold lip, a bright cheek, and a polished brow, and Christy is the perfect face for that. What I'm gonna do is incorporate a few of my favorite brands to bring that across. And I'm starting with Complexion, and I'm starting with Art and CM. Art and CM launches at this year's show. They're the Women's Wear Daily a winner for Beauty Award for Newcomer of the Year, and I just happen to be the Director of Artistry for Art and CM. So I'm gonna use their custom coverage concentrate to make Christie's skin look flawless by mixing it in to a moisturizer. The moisturizer that I'm using is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. If you do not know the Charlotte Tilbury line, it's one of the most talked about brands in the last year. Do not miss an opportunity to meet these executives because Charlotte Tilbury and Art Ancien will both be launching their pro programs at the Makeup Show NYC. We also have Charlotte Tilbury joining us as a keynote via satellite from London, so don't miss a chance to listen in as she shares her secrets for success in the makeup industry. So Art Ancien Custom Coverage Concentrate is my ideal foundation because I can shear it down or build it up and I don't have to worry about using multiple products. I mix that in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Queen and then using my crown brush, the John Hennessy The Makeup Show brush from Crown, which is the Duo Fiber Blush Brush, I'm just shearing it right onto the skin. And I'm gonna finish that off with a tiny bit of powder. I'm not a huge fan of powder. So I'm using a bit of powder foundation from Black Up Cosmetics just to finish this up and give it a more polished look because I'm keeping the foundation very sheer. Black Up is a line based in Paris that is premiering with us this year at the makeup show and launching their US Pro program. Developed for women of color, it's bold, it's bright, and the pigments are super rich. It's a great addition to any makeup artist kit, so don't miss their US premiere. Eyebrows are one of my favorite focuses for spring, and we've got exclusive brands like Senna and Anastasia joining us once again exclusively at the makeup show. We also have some great brow products from a number of different lines, and I want to show you a few of my favorites. Kevin Aquan continues to be exclusive to the makeup show and launching a lot of their new products here this season. Don't miss Kevin Aquan for amazing discounts, but also for our icon gallery, Kevin Aquan Beauty and Soul. Kevin Aquan is that makeup legend that is the reason that a lot of us get into the industry. So we're honored to be able to bring this look into his life, into his artistry, into his personal belongings, looking at his makeup kit letters, family photos, and things like that. So don't miss our Kevin Aquan Beauty and Soul Icon Gallery. I'm using the brow pencil from Kevin Aquan in Burnett to start Christie's brow. I'm holding up my pencil and I'm just sketching in some individual hairs. I like to start with pencil because pencil gives volume. And I'm literally just sketching in those individual hairs right into the lower part of the brow. The next product that I'm using on the eyebrow is powder. Powder sets itself against the skin, so it's great for providing depth. Don't get caught up in thinking you only need to use brow product. Next, I'm using one of my favorite shadows from Jouer. Jouer Cosmetics launches with us this year at the makeup show, and I love their product for the makeup artist on the go. I'm using an eyeshadow that has a soft brown kind of burgundy feel to it. It's very warm, which I love for summer. And I'm using that on my Artisan brush from Crown Brush, exclusively available through the powder group, launching at the Makeup Show NYC. I'm using the brush and I'm just going in and sketching in those individual hairs to get a soft but warm feel 
to the iCloud. Once I get my power product into faint place, I'm using the spoolie side of the brush. One of my favorite products for finishing off a brow and giving it a soft and polished look is the brow pen from Anastasia. I'm holding it like a pencil and I'm just drawing in little individual hairs. While I want this brow to have some bold presence to it, I don't want it to be hard, I don't want it to be linear, and I don't want it to look like it was painted on. I'm finishing this brow off with a brow pomade from Troy Surratt. Troy Surratt Beauty is a great addition to the show. Exclusively available at Barney's New York right now, they're launching their pro program with us. Troy Surratt will also be joining us as one of our keynotes. Listen in and learn how he went from behind the alcone counter to assisting Kevin Upon to developing his own line of cosmetics, working with some of the biggest celebrities in the business and having a career that a lot of us want. It's a great way to figure out what you want to do to look at your own future and gauge your own idea of success. Brow combination is a great way to hold a brow in place during those humid summer months. So I'm going to finish off this eyebrow and then move on to my eyeshadow, my mustache. For me, because I know this is a bold lip, bright cheek look, I'm going to keep the eye really soft. But I do want to bring in an unexpected pop of color on the eye. So for me, I like to start with my eyeshadow and building in my structure first. I'm starting with my Viseart palette, available at Alcom NYC. And I'm using a soft coat just to build in the structure. So I'm going right into the crease to give myself some definition. I'm not using an all-over shadow for this look. I like to work with the lid when it's wet. Uh, I like the shadow to actually be able to go on there and play and give me a warm and sexy. Next I'm going in with a powdered shadow. And because I want this to be a kind of soft and sexy look, I'm going to apply the powdered shadow with my finger. So I'm sanitizing my hands. And then I'm going back to my Jouer palette. And I'm using a soft brown shade and pressing it right in to the center of the lid. You can see that gives a very different effect than if you were to apply it with a brush. The color is close to Christie's skin, so all it's really going to do is give me a little bit of texture. If I didn't feel comfortable using my hand, I could go in with a soft brush. This is the James Vincent brush from Crown Brush and the Makeup Show. It's the Red Sable Oval brush, and I love this for just depositing color onto the lid. You can see I get a very different effect if I use a brush. The next step for me is mascara, and one of my favorite mascaras right now is from Ellis Voss. Ellis Voss has been part of the makeup show for the last few seasons, and their pro pro program launched with us here at the makeup show. Talk to the people at Ellis Voss, get to know them. Their product is some of the boldest, brightest color around, and some of my favorite for an artist on the go. So I'm using their mascara in black. And I love this mascara because it lengthens and thickens, And I'm going right to the root, all the way to the tip. My trick for finishing mascara, my small fan brush. This brush is a collaboration between myself, Crown Brush, and The Makeup Show, and it's available exclusively at The Makeup Show. But it's a great way to get right into the root and have those lashes looking perfect. Now here's where I start to have a little bit of fun. I know that I'm going to finish off the eye with a black liquid liner, but I want to bring some bold color to the bottom lash line. So I'm starting with Smashbox. Smashbox Always Sharp Liner in this nude color inside the eye is going to open up Christie's eye. I love it because it's an off-white, so it's a great look for all skin tones. I don't have to worry about it looking too white or too harsh. So just bringing that off-white inside the eye is a great way to get a wide open look, even on those days when you're feeling really tired. I'm also going to bring a bold, bright pencil liner to the bottom lash line. Ardent and Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner is a waterproof pencil that's great for those humid lumps. But the thing that I love about it is it is the most pack of pigment that you can find in any pencil. A lot of waterproofs 
have a little bit of shimmer in them or something to kind of glide them along. This one is just packed with color and it will look the same from the lightest to the darkest skins. And next I'm finishing that off with a liquid liner and while most people would expect black, I'm actually going in with brown. It might be too subtle for Christie's skin, but I love to layer black. Don't always jump right to black. Start with something taupe or something brown underneath. That will give you a guide, but also give you depth and dimension to your makeup to help bring it to the next level. To finish off this look, I'm bringing some black mascara onto the bottom lashes. I'm using the Kevin Urban Volume Mascara in black because I love the small brush. And it allows me just to take it and take the tip right onto those. If you want a little more wow from this look, you can always go in with a black liner, and I'm using the baddest liner that I know, Punker Eyeliner from Marcus. So I'm working with the Sephora Pro Luster Matte, and I'm using a small angle brush to apply it. I don't always like to work with a lip brush. I like that the angle of the small angle brush allows me to really get into those corners and creases. This is the Crown Small Angle Brush C116, and you can see how it really lets me get into the corner. While I love a matte lip look for summer, some of your clients might want a little more shine. A really easy trick if you want to bring some gloss back to the lip, keep it only in the center. Two of my favorite glosses for spring and summer are Jouer Pink Lace. It's a great way to get in and get that little bit of shimmer in the center of the mouth or tint from Serrat Beauty. This is a great way to just get a little bit of shine. There's nothing I like better on deeper skin tones than bold, bright orange. But remember, when you're working with orange shades, anything in that family, you want to keep that to the higher point of the cheekbone, where he actually comes in to the skin. I'm also going to bring in number seven, which is a bold red shade. I love the idea of looking like blood is flushing to the surface. And I'm keeping that just towards the apple of the cheek. If you don't want to go with bold, bright reds or oranges, Troy Seurat makes one of my favorite coral colors. And I'm going to throw the same color on Christy. I love blush. I feel like you can't get enough this season. And you see how that coral just looks like heat is coming right through the skin. And to finish it off, bronze. Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury is that product that every makeup artist has been coveting for their kit. It has only been available in the UK. Charlotte Tilbury will be with us here offering their pro program and their pro discounts. So don't for miss Wonder it. Glow, I'm using the same brush that I used for my blush, but because it's shimmer, I'm keeping that only to the highest point of the cheek. And then I go back in with my buffer foundation brush. and just blend that right up. And you can see how that starts to get Christy. That red carpet glow that we all love for summer, and it's a great tie-in to a bright, bold lip. My last touch, because I love them, a little bit of contour. And I'm going to use a soft taupe shade in the multiple. Contour doesn't always need to be hard or heavy. The internet has convinced us that we need to always see contour. I'm going to keep mine soft for summer with the NARS the multiple in a matte shade called Cappadoce. And taupe on any skin tone is going to look like a natural shadow. And I'm bringing that right beneath Christie's cheekbone. The multiples were meant to be blended in with your fingers. So I'm sanitizing my hands. And then I'm going in and just sculpting that right into the skin. And she's got a beautiful cheekbone, so it really just plays up that shape. My final touch, I'm back to my black up powder, and I'm using a powder brush from Crown's Artisan Collection with the powder group. And I'm just using that in the areas where I want to keep shine at a minimum. The Makeup Show NYC is our largest show ever with over 120 brands all offering discounts. Brands like Charlotte Tilbury, Black Up, Troy Sorrel, Ardency, Jouer Cosmetics, Sephora Pro, and many more will be there for the first time, as well as our exclusives like NARS, Smashbox, MAC Cosmetics, and 
and so many more. Don't get caught up in thinking this is just a shopping show. This is a great way to meet the executives behind the brands and the owners of the companies in the international parks. Our career fair allows you to get one-on-one -on -one with these people, so don't miss that opportunity. The makeup show is open to pros, so be sure when you buy your ticket, you've got your credentials ready, and come out and join us May 4th and 5th in New York City. For more information, www.themakeupshow.com.